guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally making videos today. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. Um, I went out of town this past weekend for a uh, trip for my jewelry business, and then um, I got back really late S Sunday, Saturday, and pretty much rested all day Sunday and Monday because I was uh, extremely tired. Today is Tuesday, so I meant to last week. I know I uploaded two videos last week. Yeah, I think so. If not, I'm sorry. I meant to share with you what I was going to take in my travel makeup bag, but since I need to unpack this, I figured I will let you know what I like to travel with and what is in my makeup bag, So I haven't done one of these in a long time. I used to take a makeup bag to work, but now that I don't work anymore, well, I work, but I don't do what I used to. I only travel like three, or, two or three times a year, um, but I do take makeup with me as I, um, I always take makeup with me wherever I go. So I wanted to share with you what's in my bag. This bag is a London Soho bag, and honestly, this was given to me by a friend of mine a while back, and I don't even know where she got it. Um, it looks like this inside. One side is not usable. I don't know why it isn't. I probably could open it up and figure it out how, but it has no zipper. So I only can use this side, and then it's got two middle bags, but... Honestly, it's enough space for me to use for a makeup bag. This is the biggest one I have. Um, so I will take everything out and show you what I took on my trip to Houston. Um, I did take a Z palette. I, most of the time I do take Z palettes because that way I can build my own palette and decide what I'm going to take because I have three Z palettes now. Um, one from a friend. This one I got in a small one, which usually what I do, I don't always take this big. I'll take and put different shades in this little one. Um... So that I don't, it doesn't take up as much room. But I did take this one instead. And this is what it looks like. I've showed you this before. I ended up using, uh, let's see, this shade here from the um, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone. And I used some of these lighter shades from some of my Wet n Wild palettes. This is um, some MAC. Hold on. These are some MAC shades here. I was going to do an eye look with it, but I didn't actually do that. So I did end up taking this palette. And then I ended up taking some skincare, which I need to like pull that out. I didn't take a lot because it was only one night, so I didn't really go crazy. That's why. I... That's not good. Oh, there's something. I hope something didn't break. Something is all over this thing. Um, I did end up taking my Estee Lauder Advanced Nightwear Repair, and then for my cream for like a day cream or night cream, the Vichy Light Lift Active Supreme. I'm trying to finish this up um, because it's a sample and I am trying to go through all my samples of moisturizer because I have way too many. And then the eye cream I took was this Alginous um, Complete Eye Renewal. I don't like that the wording has completely almost got off, but this was from the Sephora play. And then I also, okay, good. I took the, uh, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown, my, of, the can Crown of My Canopy. These will, these are already um, available, so on their website and maybe in stores, I don't know. But these aren't uh, limited edition anymore. I did take some of the products that I'm working on in my um, project pan, which was one of them was this one here from the um, Mac Collection Troll Collection Play It Proper. This will take me forever to finish, but I do like it, and it's a nice blush topper. I also did take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but I had actually ended up using a different one, but I did take that. I also took the single uh, Still a Kitten eyeshadow, and this thing's just shattering. I think this is what is all over. This is this is the softest eyeshadow ever, so um, yeah, I've already hit pan on it. This is a great shade. I do like this, and that's one of my Project Pan things. Um, I did take my e.l.f. brow gel. This needs to be, yeah, I need a new one. Or I may just have to go without it because I'm in a no-buy, so... Um, this is the primer I'm trying to work on. This is the Spackle Under Makeup Primer. I did take this. And then I did take some brushes. My Beauty Blender, which is dirty. The um, one that my friend got me, Valerie got me. The Real Techniques um, Little Ones. I love these for setting concealer. And then I did take some brushes. I took some just on end of brushes. Let me just take them all out here. They're all dirty, so I'm just going to take them all out. I'm not going to go all through these because I, I don't always take the same brushes. So there's my brushes I took, and they're dirty, so I'm going to take those out. 
And then I did take this concealer because I'm trying to work on it. Ugh, this concealer. <laughs> this is the Estee Lauder Concealer and Perfect... Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum and Concealer. I don't care about this other end here. I'm just trying to finish up because this was such an expensive product. Um, I will not purchase this again. Actually, I'm going to put that over there because I need to talk some spots and stuff. I did take my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I do like this one, but it's just a sample. Um, I did take the Rose Gold, um, Lori, Laura Mercier Rose Gold um, Caviar Stick, but I didn't actually end up using that. And the Becca... Um, Moonstone highlighter, which that frustrate me because I made my concealer move and I used it on top of it. My Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, um, I'm trying to use this up back in my project pan. The Rimmel, my favorite blush in the whole entire world, uh, Rimmel Blossom Time Rose. You can see I've made quite a dip in the rose. I love those blushes, they're awesome. Um, these brushes I didn't actually use because I didn't have, I took a lot of brushes but I didn't use them. This was the NYX Butter Gloss. I took this because I wasn't sure what lip color I wanted to use, which the lip color I did use is not in here because I put it in my purse, but I did take a couple of them. I did take my Wet n Wild Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It's the best stuff, the one I ended up actually using. Um, my foundation, of course, from Estee Lauder. Took that. This um, mascara that I was trying to use up, which actually I did because this stuff is just starting to get goopy, so that was the CoverGirl Star Wars one. I took my Dr. Jart UV Sun Fluid SPF 30. I love this stuff. I just, that's just a sample. Um, the Kate Rimmel Lipstick in 45. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's such a beautiful nude. I actually did, I think I did eventually put that on during the day sometime, I think, maybe. I don't know. And a single eye shadow from Buxom. And Mink Magnet. This was a little perk or whatever from Sephora, play, or Sephora, and I didn't actually end up using that. So that is all that's in my makeup bag, and this is what I take when I do travel. So that's all the stuff that I took with me. I just wanted to share with that with y'all because it's been a while since I actually had a makeup bag um, filled with stuff. And so I wanted to share with you what I had decided to take. Should have made it before, but you know never too late. So, all right guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.